This is Jim Emter, Van Onnen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with their closing grain and livestock comments for April 19th, 2018. Corn market down a half to one, soybeans down three to four and a half, Chicago wheat up one and a half, Minneapolis wheat down four to five and three quarters, Kansas City wheat up five to six and a half. So a market that was pretty much all over the place and as we've kind of seen that the last uh, few trading days. Exports came in at one million metric tons or slightly over for both the corn and soybean markets. So that was encouraging to see, but very little those two markets could do with that. And we'll have to kind of watch as things work ahead. We can only sell about another 100,000 uh, metric tons a week for the next 19 weeks until we meet USDA's quota. So two more weeks of these type of sales and we've met USDA's sales quota. But what's important is we still lag behind the actual inspections. So that'll be the thing to watch. We did see a small cancellation out of China this morning, the export sales, and that could be what riled the market at least a little bit and allowed for some of the weakness. Uh, on the wheat side of things, we did get a cancellation of spring wheat, and that's why you saw that meat mar or wheat market down compared to others. The rains have shifted a little further east for uh, uh, Kansas City wheat country, and that's why you saw a little support there. But we've got basically two weeks of off and on chances of rain. So really look for mixed markets. We see a lot better weather for forecast ahead here. Looks like the winter is behind us. We're moving on to spring and we're actually seeing 60s to 66 as a normal now uh, starting next week and that'll be slightly at or slightly even above expectations or average here. Uh, so that could allow a pretty rapid improvement and increase in the planting pace. But it still looks like uh, areas of uh, central and southern Iowa will need a few days yet. Uh, northern areas will need to melt the snow first and then uh, again get to the point that we can defrost the ground. So we're a good two, two and a half weeks off yet in the northern plains from seeing aggressive planting. Uh, but that could be the next story as the futures market always likes to try to get that next story. Funds, uh, commitment of traders report gonna be very important as well tomorrow. Uh, managed money is long within the corn and bean spectrums and some liquidation should not be a surprise, especially if weather shakes itself out. We really see corn in a range, 10 to 15 cents up and down and stuck there. The bean market is a one that we feel could capitulate here as we work ahead, looking for May and June days that trade a bit lower before we get a wild summer ahead of us. And then on the wheat market here, it's as good as the rains, and we'll watch those closely. Uh, feeder cattle down 225, live cattle down 225 as well, hog market up 30 to down 50. Uh, exports were okay for cattle, a little disappointment for, disappointing for hogs. Cattle on feed report on Friday, average trade guess, cattle on feed 108%, placements 90%, which would be the one to watch there, marketing's at 96%. So a uh, little risk off today in front of that cattle on feed report tomorrow. We'll strap it and see what USDA gives us. This has been Jim Emter, Van Onnen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation. Have a great afternoon.